Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm chatting about Lovable, taking you through a little project that I built with it and giving you some thoughts on how you can use it to kind of build your own software, get it into the hands of customers as fast as possible. And yeah, kickstart that next idea you have. I think it's a great piece of software. There's a lot of, you know, vibe coding tools coming out these days. It's a super exciting time to build. Let's give you a little behind the scenes tour of what I've been up to with it and hopefully inspire you guys to kind of get that idea into the hands of customers as fast as possible. So let's get into it. Okay, cool guys, let's dive into the project that I built. It's called My Doodle, and essentially it's a kind of fun way for artists to share a link and do a commission. So, you know, if you're on TikTok and you're an artist and you wanna do a commission for someone, people can come in, request a commission, enter their email, do a description of the artwork request. Artists can set a minimum budget, and then you can go ahead and submit the request. And the commissions can kind of queue in uh, publicly, which adds kind of fun sort of interactive community community element, then the artist kind of accepts a commission, does the artwork, uploads it, and then again, it's publicly available on the artist profile. Everyone can take a look and it's kind of a fun interactive community for small scale, fun, simple art commissions. So Lovable was great to kind of put this entire thing together because it was really easy for me to build user profiles, authentication, databases, everything I kind of needed. And then of course, this shiny front end, which is also super easy to piece together. So let me take you through through each step and what I did to kind of glue this project together, which really took me only a few hours. Okay, so Lovable has a nice interface where you can kind of chat on the left-hand side and then you get a nice preview of your project on the right. And as you can see, here's the sort of long chat history of what I did to create what you see here on the right. It has a nice little preview feature. So before you ship something, you can open up the preview, kind of see how it's looking. You can check it out on mobile, um, touch up the styling, anything like that. On the right-hand side, you can hook up to Superbase, which I'll explain in a moment. And then of course you can connect to GitHub, which is great. So you can manage the code base there. There's also a nice code editor here where you can jump into the project and edit things manually if you want to as well, which is super nice. So what does Level actually do? Well, essentially the kind of base that gets created is a React sort of tailwind project. So when you start typing here on the left, it will spin up a kind of a boilerplate and it has nice tailwind styling built in and kind of as you prompt it, it will render components that are mostly mobile responsive. You made it do some small tweaks to kind of get them to work uh, exactly how you want them to, but the base sort of components that it renders according to what you prompt are really good. So that's kind of the boilerplate and it's very easy to piece together your idea on the front end. Now, where it gets super exciting is obviously as you prompt and you say, hey, build me an art commission marketplace, I want cards, I want a search feature, I want this and that. It'll go ahead and create those components, but now we need to hook those components up to a backend. And we actually build the functionality of the app. And the best part about this is that can also be done right from the chat interface. And the way that Lovable does this is that it connects your project to a super base project. If you go ahead and say, hey, add user authentication, it'll go ahead and ask you to, first of all, set up a super base project and secondly, connect it to Lovable. Once you've created that connection between super base and Lovable, you're now kind of set to build out any basic CRUD functionality that you want. And what's amazing about this is adding authentication is as simple as saying, hey, add authentication. I want an artist sign-in for my, for my product. Lovable will then set up auth for you. It will ask you what sign-in providers you want. And by default, it will enable the, the email sign-in. You can go ahead and enable other auth providers as well. And what you'll notice is it'll start to work. So here you can see when I went and prompted that I needed authentication, I have a really nice sign-in screen, I can sign in. I can go ahead and manage my profile, view my commissions, see my in-progress ones, and my completed ones here. I'm not very good at doing art commissions, but it's been super fun to kind of just play around and get people to submit them and go through the process of, of pretending like I'm an artist on this platform. Cool. So. Yeah, once your auth set up, you really have a kind of boilerplate experience for your users or your customers. And from there, what you're gonna do is kind of build out the CRUD functionality. So one of the first things I did was, as you create an account, I wanted artists to be able to manage their profile. Simple things like 
username, display name, bio, uploading an image, tags, cover image, things like that. And what's amazing about prompting this kind of functionality in Lovable once Superbase is connected is that Superbase will go ahead and create the tables and schema that you need to perform the CRUD kind of functionality that you want to do. So as I was asking artists to kind of fill out their profile details, Lovable went ahead and kind of created these tables and relationships with inside of Superbase for me, which is really, really nice. You can go ahead, you can view the schema, and then as you interact with your app, you can head over to the table editor if you want, and you can actually see the data that gets inserted into the table that were built out. Another thing that it's set up for me is, you know, when as an artist, when I upload my profile picture, or when I go ahead and actually complete a commission, and upload the artwork, it needs to store that image somewhere. Again, Superbase has storage buckets. What Lovable did was it set up storage buckets for the various image storage features that I needed on the app. So for example, profile pictures, artworks, profile banners and things like that. So it's really kind of straightforward for basic features like that. Another useful thing is that Lovable shows you the SQL it's about to create before you go ahead and create it. And that's nice because sometimes, you know, it may get something wrong or it may not fully understand what you want. You can go ahead and correct that. It also makes sure intelligently that the right sort of permissions security layers are kind of taken care of. So you won't necessarily have to worry about the wrong user seeing the wrong piece of data. However, you know, just make sure that you read through the SQL, understand what it's doing, and make sure that on a user level, the auth permissions, things like that are working. But on the whole, it kind of really takes care of that quite nicely. So yeah, read through the SQL before you go ahead and execute it. It always asks you if you want to do it, but that's quite a nice, neat feature. Another great thing is if you want to add other APIs and features, Lovable kind of has their preferred API providers that they work with and suggest. So for example, just to send an email to the artist when a commission comes through, Lovable goes ahead, hooks up the hooks up the resend API, makes it super easy for you, tells you to go to resend, create an account, get an API key, paste that into Superbase. Superbase also handles all your secrets. Lovable sets up what is called edge functions within Superbase to do this. And essentially what this is, is just a backend function that runs to perform certain tasks like send an email or receive an incoming webhook from Stripe or something like that. So you can also keep track of how, how many times this function gets invoked on the back end. You can see logs if there are any errors and things like that. So quite a great way to interact with external services and things you might need like that as part of your application. Okay, so one thing I haven't done yet on this project is actually hook up the payments functionality. So when I go ahead and request a commission and submit a request right now, it kind of just sends it without prompting the payment gateway. Now what's really neat about Lovable is that they kind of have a sort of plug and play integration with Stripe. So if you go ahead and just say add Stripe payments, Lovable will go and set up the project to be able to communicate with Stripe, receive incoming webhooks when payments are processed and things like that. And it will guide you through the process uh, with things like adding your API keys and things like that. So yeah, again, it's super easy to connect payments. If you head over to the Lovable Docs, what's great here is you can view their kind of preferred integrations, really easy step-by-step -step guides to get going. So yeah, if you're unsure of exactly the kind of integration you want, check out the Lovable Docs, it will most likely be here. Okay, let's see something in action. So I need Lovable to make me a footer with some privacy policy and terms links. I really don't like kind of making those it's a lot of admins so I'm just gonna ask Lovable to do that for me so it'll go ahead and think and then start writing the code to the correct location in the project and what's also nice is when it does that refreshes the live preview at the same time as you can see it's making the privacy page right now now it's writing the terms page now it looks like it's going ahead and adding the footer component and once that's finished we should see the preview refresh and here we go so it's told me it's made the footer. It's a reusable component, so I suppose we could use it on other pages. If you scroll down, here it is. Nice, clean looking footer. You can access a privacy policy, you can access the terms. Nice. Then when you're ready, you just head over here and you just click publish. So if we take a look at the project settings, here's where we can hook up the domain. Also add sort of knowledge and instructions to the project. So if you have general guidelines or rules or best practices that you want to add there, you can add that context here so that it's understood project-wide. Here's where you manage your Superbase connection. 
It's great. They link you to tutorials and make it super easy to understand how Lovable is talking to Superbase and doing all of these things for you. And then again, you can add uh, GitHub as well. So you can keep a, a record of your code base there as well, which is nice. Let's chat about the bill-in. So when it comes to the free usage, it's pretty decent. You get five daily credits. What's nice is if there's an error or something goes wrong, they don't actually charge you for it to go ahead and try and fix that error. And if it keeps running into errors, you can keep kind of prompting it to try and fix it. And as far as I know, it doesn't really charge you uh, any credits for sort of errors or debugging or trying to get some broken piece of code to work, which is nice. I bought the pro plan. It's 200 credits per month. I think uh, it's pretty decent. I think one of the things to kind of consider is if you're doing things like a lot of styling changes, you probably want to do like a bulk of those at once, you know, in bullet points so that you're not consuming credits for each small tiny thing, you know, like change the font size of my footer. You know, you'd want to bundle in multiple styling changes into one prompt to kind of make those credits go a bit further. But yeah, other than that, it's pretty decent for what you pay. And I think you can get really far with just the pro plan. I think uh, if it's, you know, a project that you've that's in production, you've got a lot of users and I'm paying 120 a month is, is well worth it for uh, for getting access to more credits and cleaning up and polishing consistently those small tweaks and things as you get feedback from customers. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the pricing and great to see that you can get pretty far with each of these tiers. Okay, so final thoughts. I think Lovable is a great piece of software. As you can see, it's super easy to spin up a project, connect it to Superbase, have auth managed, have your database managed, your basic CRUD operations, your basic edge functions to handle sort of backend logic. And I think that when it comes to rapidly prototyping, getting something to market, Lovable is a great choice. I think one of the main considerations is, yeah, credit consumption. Make sure that you bundle your changes into one prompt, especially when it comes to front end tweaks. You don't want to over consume credits for no reason. And then make sure that when Lovable is executing SQL for you and writing those CRUD operations, operations and things like that, that you make sure to just read over it and understand exactly what it's doing. Because I think that one of the main concerns with Vibe coding and I guess people with no coding background jumping into the space is, is that you don't fully understand what's going on. So while a lot of the stuff is taken care of, I think you must really try to understand exactly how all of these components are gluing together because that will set you up for major success building your own projects. Just gaining that extra bit of knowledge to actually understand what's happening, understand how databases work, understand what authentication is, understand what APIs are and things like that. So if you're totally new to building things, I think that's a great thing to kind of just grasp before you dive straight into this and think that everything is going to be solved. A lot of things will be solved, but you will run into certain things where that extra bit of knowledge will just elevate you to the next level. So yeah, great product. I think it's awesome. I'm excited to see what you guys build and I'll see you next time. Cheers.